Friends, let's do question number three A now. Friends, in this question, first I will do it as per my method. I want all of you to interact with me, okay? Sorry, friends, my son just came inside. All right, let's continue now, okay? So I will first do it in my method. I want some of you to unmute and speak to me. Can you please do that? We we'll just have an interactive session on this one, and then we will compare with the solution. Yes. yes, yes what sir. is what's your name? Uh, oh, Kondeya. Hi, hi. Okay. I'll now do one thing. I'll start doing this problem. So please interact with me. Okay. So we have a balance sheet that is given over here. So I'm going to copy down the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, we have the liabilities and we have the assets am i right what are coming in the balance sheet we have the share capital then you have the reserves long term loan is there am i right short term loan is there then you have payable sorry and payable is there okay so what are the amounts they have given over here let's copy down the amount also the amount for share capital is 300 reserves is 200 everyone be ready with the chat box okay i want all of you to participate for this one question then you have 300 and finally you have payables of 200 therefore what is the total that you get over here now Thousand four hundred is your total. Okay. So after we get the first part, I will also copy down the uh, assets. <coughs> All right. Assets and the amount of the assets. So what are the assets they have given over here? First one is fixed assets. Six hundred. All right. Then you have inventory. Inventory is how much? Five hundred. Okay. Receivable is how much? Two forty. And you have cash as how much? <coughs> cash is how much? Sixty. Okay. So again, if I take the total, what is the total that you get over here? Thousand four hundred. Am I right? Okay. Okay. i believe we are clear with the basic assets and liabilities that are given over there now let us come down sales for the year is 600 lakhs so now they have given the income i'll copy down the income also same manner how we are doing so far okay sales will be 600 All right. Then you have sales are expected to grow by twenty percent. Okay, we'll keep that pending. Profit margin and dividend payout ratio are going to be the are expected to be four percent and fifty percent. So wait. Then profit margin is going to be four uh, percent. So can I four uh, percent? So I'll put over here gross margin four percent. So how much is six hundred into four percentage? Do you get the answer as twenty four? Correct. And the dividend payout based on this. Okay, so the cost will turn out to be the balancing figure. Am I right? Dividend payout will turn out to be fifty uh, percent of this. This into point five, so you get twelve. And based on this, you will be getting the net margin. What's the net margin that you get over here? Twenty-four minus twelve. Will you get the answer as twelve? Not net margin. This is the retained earnings. Sorry, the amount that will be available with the company after distributing the dividend all right fine so i think this is all put company further desires that during the current year sales to the short term loans and provisions should not should be in the ratio of how much 4 is to 3 okay so they want a ratio of 4 is to 3 so if 4 is sales 3 should be the other one okay so let's just put it down Let's just write down somewhere over here. What is the question number we are talking about? Three A, right? Three 
sales to short term loans and payable sales is to this has to be in the ratio of what 4 is to 3 so if sales is 4 the other one should be 3 are you clear with that part then they have told ratio of fixed asset to long term loan should be 1.5 fixed asset to long term loan should be 1.5 is to 1 all right that's it 1.5 debt equity ratio should not exceed 1.5 less than or equal to 1.5 is to 1 this is the details they have given over here now they have told sales are going to expected to grow by how much percentage 20% during the 20% during the year okay so can i do one thing can i add 20% to the sales now Okay, now interact with me one by one, everyone, and tell me. Sales is going to increase by twenty percent. Based on the other data available, gross margin will be how much? Everyone, tell me. Twenty point eight. How did you get twenty point eight? What is the percent? Twenty eight point eight. Twenty. Okay, it will be seven twenty into four. Exactly, it will be twenty eight point eight. So I'll put the formula as seven twenty into four percentage. That will be twenty eight point eight. What about dividend? Perfect, perfect. So if I reduce that, my net net retained earnings will be fourteen point four. Am I right? Okay. You are all you are all agreeing with me so far, correct? Now after this is put up, they have told the other ratios also in the question that sales to short term loans and payables should be in the ratio of four is to three. Correct. Correct. So now over here, if I go up, short term loans and payable together is turning out to be five hundred. As of now, okay. Now the sales is seven twenty. Sales for other one three means seven twenty into three by four should be the total number over here. Am I right? Five forty. Okay, so I'll put the formula over here. One minute. The formula would be seven twenty into three by four. If I'm not wrong, correct? Five hundred and forty. Perfect. That is going to be what? That has to be my ratio. Asset to long term ratio should be one point five is to one. Am I right? Correct. So now here asset is six hundred. Have they told anywhere that the asset is going to increase by twenty percentage? No, no. Silent. Silent. So if it's silent, how can we assume it to be? We can assume it to be the same. Am I right? Ah, same. Okay, but your MTP has assumed it to increase by twenty percent. I will keep it the same. Let us solve it this way. Afterwards, we'll again go back and check what has to be done. All right. So. Here we get six hundred as the answer. Okay, so if we take six hundred as the answer, long term loan should be one. If fixed asset is one point five, so long term loan formula will be what six hundred divided by one point five. Am I right? Divided by one point five. Correct. Right. So that again turns out to be the same four hundred. No change at all. It will be the same. Correct. Let's read the next ratio they have given over there. Debt equity ratio should be one point five is to one. So wait, these two are done. Wait. Reserves will increase. It will be two hundred plus whatever is the retained earnings. Am I right? So that will become two hundred and fourteen point four. Am I right? Okay. Share capital normally remains the same. Whatever profit they come on reserves only. Correct? Okay. So once I put all these things, my total turns out to be thousand four hundred and fifty-four. Okay, down when you come inventory, nothing has been mentioned so far. But normally I can assume that if the sales goes up by twenty percent, ideally what will happen? Inventory also should go up by twenty percentage. But since question is silent, we can assume it both the ways. Everyone, tell me how do you want to assume it? We are just working out. Then we'll go back to the empty. We will check the solution there and cross compare. That's why I'm doing this exercise here. Either we can keep it at you know ratio of sales because as sales increases, stock will also increase. Receivable will also increase. Or option two, since question is silent, we will just maintain it at five hundred itself. How do you want to maintain? Option two. So we'll keep it the same, is it? Option two. 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 Option two.
okay let's keep it the same receivable also will keep it the same cash also will keep it the same now let us check the total here you are getting the total as 1400 here we are getting the total as 1454 so ideally speaking when we do like this your liabilities are actually more than whatever asset requirements you are having so you do not need any external fund requirement is the answer that will come to my mind okay now i will slowly take the solution and we will discuss the solution together they have made some assumptions which suddenly will never click so this question being a tricky different type of question exam coming chances less because if the answer is clear cut there is no ambiguity they normally come in the exam but see still i cannot predict anything it may still come that is the reason we are doing it right now okay so i'll just take the solution hold on what's happening okay just a moment friends okay so let me just go and take this solution now okay this is a question what we have done now see carefully all right sales they have made 720 did we also take it as 720 over here am i right yes so that part we are also clear i'll put a green over here so that we are sure that we have done it correctly all right now look at the other one profit margin 4 28.8 did we also get 28.8 yes that part is clear dividend payout 14.4 did we also get 14.4 yes now is the point additional fund required they have taken 1400 lakhs how did you get this 1400 lakhs they have taken the total of the liability side balance sheet total, balance sheet total. and then from that they have reduced 200 what is the 200 200 is the payable short term payable all right so 1400 <coughs> minus 200 they have directly multiplied 20 percent why because the question says sales is increasing by 20 percentage they are assuming all the other assets all the other liabilities are going to increase by 20 percentage flat and they are not taking current liabilities because they are assuming that that will also pop up in the same proportion and they have got the answer as 240 over here this is a tricky part So here they have got multiple assumptions. Assumption number one, all the assets, all the liabilities are going to grow at how much percentage? 20 percentage, except for what? Current liability. All right. Next one. Down they have given all the sales ratio, etc. Correct. They have taken new amount of short term loans and provisions. 3 by 4 into 600. I think we also did the same thing. No way. No, three. We got uh, 540, sir. Okay, wait. Three by sales to short term ratio. Loan and provision should be 4 is to 3. So, 3 by 4 into 600. But the sales has gone up to 720. Am I right? 720. Right? So, they have taken over here still 600 and they have done the solution. Alright? So, that is also not fully correct. Alright? Because the, as you told, they have clearly told the sales has gone up by 20 percentage. So, it has to increase. They have taken it this way. They got 450 less already existing amount of short term provision is 500. So extra fund required is zero down. Next part amount to be raised from long term funds, new assets. They have taken 600 plus 20 percent. This assumption is not given anywhere at all friends, but by doing like that, they got 720. Okay. New long term loan will be then what 720 divided by 1.5. They got 480 existing loan 400. So extra 80 loan is required. All these are their assumptions. This need not be correct at all. So then they saw total fund required 225 minus 80 is through long term. Remaining has to be by way of equity and they have concluded the question. This is exactly not how they should do it because it should actually come from the projected p &L account. From this balance sheet, ideally the difference should be the balancing figure that can come as what? 
equity. So friends, this one question, you, I request you to go through the textbook, uh, the MTP and just read through it. But since there is a lot of ambiguity, a lot of different assumptions involved in this, this question may not be a very, very important question from the upcoming exam. But still, I have no one to predict the exam question paper, friends. It may come, it may not come. So just give a reading to it and make sure that even if this comes in the exam, you will be able to do it. Are you all clear with this part, friends? So friends, we have finally come to the end of this session. Today in one day, we have covered the entire RTP May 23 and MTP series 1 also. We have done so many questions that hopefully at least 2 or 3 from this comes in the exam that will help us to score an extra 10 to 20 marks and that can be a difference between getting through and not getting through friends. I will just conclude my session with one simple lesson. Okay. 3A. <coughs> Wait, wait, wait. I didn't follow Preeti. Let any question come except 3A in the exam. All right, Preeti. Fine. I will just end up with one simple words, friends. A lesson that I learned from Muhammad Ali and I just love this lesson and I keep telling it in all my classes. When somebody asked him, how many sit-ups do you take every day? Muhammad Ali replied beautifully. He said, I do not count my sit-ups. I start counting when it starts paining because that is when it really matters. What he said is right. If everyone can do 50 sit-ups, you also do 50 sit-ups. Will you have any value? No. But if everyone does 50, you do 51 sit-ups. That extra one sit-up is what will give you add-on value, friends. Same way, it's what he calls it as start counting when it starts paining. Exam point of view also. If you do RTP, MTP, somebody else has not done it. That extra question that you work out is what gives you the extra leading advantage. We did one day marathon. We did minimum adjustment questions, which covers maximum, sorry, minimum question, which covers maximum adjustments. Why? If we are able to do in less time something what others cannot do, that is where we create a leading advantage. Tuesday, we will do Super 50. 50 beautiful questions which will cover almost all the important adjustments as well as some tricky questions from exam point of view. Then we will do Theory Marathon. Once we do all this, why will we not get through the examination? We should score an ex exemption in SFM, friends. And the only thing I'm looking for is waiting for all of you to clear this exam and get an exemption. Message me and let me know about how your exams went. All the very best friends. Hopefully I'll see you back on Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock for a Super 50 session. Take care. Have fun.